A crise da energia que vivemos tem deixado milhões de famílias e de pequenas empresas numa situação muito difícil, de joelhos praticamente, sem capacidade de pagar as contas de energia. E enquanto isto acontece, as empresas de energia têm, têm tido o jackpot, com lucros absolutamente excepcionais. A Comissão apresentou várias medidas, mas todas elas de curto prazo e nenhuma estrutural, e medidas estas que não tocam a questão de fundo. E, portanto, a minha pergunta é, tendo em conta a proposta que apresentaram agora, que não mexe no sistema de fixação de preços, continua a ser o marginal, qual é a medida, ou quais são as medidas que esperam ter para proteger as famílias e os pequenos negócios no, no inverno que se aproxima, em vez de continuar a dar o jackpot às empresas da energia. So what is the Commission doing? First of all, as you very correctly mentioned, we have introduced emergency measures that are still in place, like the informational revenue cap, which allows uh, governments to channel revenues to consumers to reduce the bills. Uh, second, we need to continue gas diversification efforts that allows us to calm down the price signals uh, from, that are coming from gas uh, market. We, ha we will um, also um, introduce the joint gas purchase platform um, that allows our companies to benefit from our negotiation power. And, and of course, if we will manage to, um, to bring down the gas prices, it also has direct impact to our electricity prices. Right now, gas prices below 50 euros, and this is a lower price than we saw any moment last year. And third, we need to ensure that um, industry and SMEs are less exposed to the volatility and high prices of the short-term electricity market. And uh, this is exactly the reason why we proposed um, the revision of electricity market design. There are measures um, that uh, facilitate access to long-term instruments, like power purchase agreements or contracts for difference um, for a new... Uh, investment in power generation and uh, this will help um, customers benefit more directly of the lower cost of renewable generation. So if we will have more hours where our consumption is covered by renewables, that also means that prices for our industry and consumers will be significantly lower than in these hours when we are dependent on gas fired power plants. Thank you. Uh, sim, senhora comissária, mas a verdade é que na proposta que é apresentada pela comissão não há nenhuma alteração, como eu disse, ao sistema de fixação de preços. Mantém-se o sistema marginalista. E por isso alguma coisa aconteceu, porque em julho do ano passado a senhora presidente da Comissão Europeia, Ursula von der Leyen, veio aqui a esta casa, a este Parlamento, dizer que o mercado marginalista não era um mercado adaptado para combater o aumento dos preços da energia e, portanto, tinha que ser alterado. Entre julho e agora, afinal, mudaram de ideias. O que é que fez mudar as ideias? Continuar a garantir os lucros das empresas? A electricity market reform uh, will not change the mechanics of price formation on the short-term markets, because this formation guarantees that our consumption is uh, covered by supply at every single moment. But this doesn't mean that it will not achieve a decoupling of electricity prices from gas price. Because making final prices paid by consumers more independent from short-term prices is the solution that um, delivers more affordable and more predictable uh, prices for our final retail consumers. So this is achieved by bringing more renewables and flexibility into the market to displace also fossil fuels and by changing the way new investments in information generation are remunerated. And on top of that, we have a few but effective provisions to reduce the weight of gas on electricity prices. Uh, again, by accelerating green transition, but also by 
settling the long-term PPAs that give, uh, gives us access to pre-agreed pricing schemes for uh, relatively long periods. Thank you.